Welcome, one and all, to Pacific Four and Four Movie Review. I'm your host, Mike, and in this episode, I'm going to be talking about a favorite movie of mine with one of my favorite movie characters of all time and the creative minds behind it, along with the stars of this movie and why it's so special 40 years after its initial release. That movie I am referring to is Raiders of the Lost Ark. Starring Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones, Karen Allen as Marion Ravenwood, all three men as Indiana Jones are tribal Belloc. You have Ronald Lacey as Tolt, John Reese Davies as Sala, and Alfred Molina even makes an appearance in this movie as Satipo. Raiders of the Lost Ark was released to movie theaters back on June 12, 1981. It was the first collaboration between George Lucas and Steven Spielberg. Lucas, who was coming off the success of both Star Wars and The Empire Strikes Back, while Steven Spielberg was coming off the directorial success of both Jaws and Close Encounters of the Third Kind. So, with this duo together, what could go wrong? Nothing, actually, with Larry Kasdan providing the screenplay, this movie turned out to be one of the most memorable movies of all time. The story, as told by Larry Kasdan and George Lucas, involves the U.S. government recruiting Indiana Jones into finding the Ark of the Covenant. In order to do that, they must find a medallion. In order to find a medallion, Indiana must find Abner Ravenwood the father of Marianne Ravenwood, who is a former love interest of Indiana Jones. With monetary aid provided by good friend and fellow archaeologist Marcus Brody, played by Denham Elliott, Indiana goes halfway around the world to begin his quest to find the Ark of the Covenant before the Nazis can. Along this adventure to find the Ark of the Covenant, Indiana is able to receive help from good friend Sala, battle a few Nazis along the way, all while battling his one fear, snakes. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? If there's one thing that Raiders of the Lost Ark has proven over the last 40 years, it's that you can have a great movie that is told well, with good storytelling, good direction, and Great actors. This movie is action-packed, takes us on an adventure we never thought we would go on, lets us see things we never thought we'd be able to see, experience excitement we never thought we would experience, especially back in 1981 at the movie theater, and it led to three sequels. The Temple of Doom, The Last Crusade, and Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. So, what Indiana Jones did as a character was give us someone who is brave, fearless, at least when it comes to anything other than snakes, and is a romantic at heart. What this series gives us is fond memories of going back to the movies during the 80s where you can forget about everything that was going on around you and enjoy a good action-packed movie that had a few laughs but also made you think made you think what would it be like to be in the shoes of Indiana Jones that's that's what it did for me when I was watching this movie as a kid it made me think how cool would it be to be in the shoes of Indiana Jones and finding secrets of the past this has been Mike for Pacific 4 and 4 Movie Reviews. Thank you all for watching. Hope you liked what you saw here. If you did like what you saw here, please give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. And subscribe to the Pacific 4 and 4 YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you and have a good day.